coming up next on First News at 4, Green Spring Fashion, how to keep your gear hip and environmentally friendly. We'll be right back. With spring just a week away, it's a great time to think about new clothes and going green at the same time. King County eco-consumer Tom Watson is back with local green clothing designers and stylists to show us the very latest in eco fashion. And there is so much to see these days, Tom. Absolutely. And I wanted to point out, we're going to get to our great designers and hey. the women's fashion, green fashion. But first, I wanted to point out that I am actually wearing trash today. <laughs> this is the men's, the trashy men's fashion. I'm wearing old plastic bottles. These jeans, these are new waistless jeans. They call them from Levi's. Oh, Levi's has green yeah, jeans. Okay. They're a new line with 20% recycled content, these recycled bottles. There's about eight bottles in this pair of jeans. And then this coat from Now Clothing in mm -hmm. Portland is 100% recycled content, recycled plastic, polyester. Wow. From pop bottles and water bottles. You know, when you hold that bottle, and you said, what, eight of them in your jeans? Yes. That's really, it's, it's very interesting to put it that way, but it's and, true. And it shows what happens to the products we recycle, that they can be made into cool green products. And now we want to introduce Cameron Levin, who is one of our designers. Now, yes. this is a different aspect of green fashion, and Cameron uses sustainable materials in her outfits. And, and this is her model, Rebecca Bloom. Cameron, tell us about how you go about finding these materials. Well, um, I source some materials from really all over the world, but mainly from San Francisco. Mm -hmm. and. Um, Actually, Rebecca is wearing a silk tunic top. Okay, let's switch places, sure. Rebecca, so we can see your beautiful outfit. Okay, the silk tunic top. <laughs> and also an organic cotton skirt. And I'm also wearing an organic cotton skirt with a uh, silk hemp blend top. How did you guys get into the green fashion business? Well, I decided to become an eco-friendly designer because I felt that a lot of day and evening wear clothes for women just wasn't, none of it was really sustainable. So I felt like I wanted to go for it and do it. It's beautiful, beautiful clothing. And who do we have over here? I'm going to step over this here. This is Dana Guyton, and her business is Sustelux. Hi. And the outfits are so feminine. Oh, thank you. Um, I think shopping vintage is, I guess, eco-friendly because you're recycling, but I feel like it's really a lot more sustainable than that. Um, things just aren't made the same way that they used to be. And I have shirts, you know, for my mom and my grandmother that I still wear, but I can get something from H&M or Target and it, you know, falls apart in a couple of washes. So I really feel like with vintage, mm -hmm. things were made um, kind of back in a time where there was quality and craftsmanship. And it's just, you're preserving like history and culture and the arts and, and all these wonderful things when you shop vintage. And where do you find vintage pieces? Where can we find vintage pieces? Kind of everywhere, especially now because it's really popular, but um, you know, I can shop from Value Village to Goodwill or estate sales or um, um, even online. You can find a bunch of things online. You can find them anywhere, but it's really like having a little piece of artwork or a little piece of inspiration with you. And, and some of it is simply timeless like that one. It's just beautiful. <laughs> okay, we're running out of time and I really want to get to Amanda Vernell Mueller and her business is Twice Blushed and she does the innovative uh, concept of recreating wedding dresses. It's yes. a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> look. You. And this, tell us about this two-piece. Um, she, Amber, is wearing a reconstructed top. The, the top was a um, ivory wool blazer. You can see the notches here are actually oh the old lapels from the blazer. And the lace is an overlay from a 1940s dress. It had, had a bad accident with some moths, but the lace was uh, in really great condition. So I pulled the lace, did the overlay. The skirt is actually all new material. So I do a blending of reclaimed and new to, to make a product that's unique for that customer. You know, I think it's it's proof positive that going green and reusing clothing and fabrics, it doesn't have to look dull or drab or old at yeah, all. Absolutely, and everything is one of a kind, and so every, every bride really gets her own one of a kind dress. Thank you so much yeah. for being here, ladies. Everything is so gorgeous. Tom, you look gorgeous too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to feel left out. For more information, just go to our website, comonews.com, and click on Como4TV. Coming up next.